Good morning, Northwest. I'm Jade Redinger with your local news update. And this 4th of July weekend's travel volume is set to be the highest on record, according to AAA, and just days after the airport terror attack in Turkey. U.S. officials say security will be higher, too. Tri-Cities Airport looking ahead at how they can be ready for a terrorist attack. And the preps come following the recent bombings at the airport in Turkey. And Wednesday night, airport police officers had special training to identify red flags that might come before an attack. In addition to TSA agents, airport police say there are always at least two on-duty police officers officers, Pasco Police and Franklin County deputies also patrol the area and the police chief says at the airport it can be a target anywhere. On the, the ideology of the person and what they what statement they want to make, you know, do they want to make a big bang or a little one? It's and so to get in, to, you just can't get into the mindset of it can't happen here. And that's one of the biggest defenses that you can have is that yes, it can. The chief says his 13 officers have an average of nearly 30 years of experience. He also says give yourself a lot of extra time if you're traveling this weekend because of heavy construction at our airport terminal and also on Interstate 182. And Washington's population is growing and Pasco is one of the top 10 fastest growing cities. New statistics released by the state show Franklin County's population grew by more than 1500 people last year. Pasco takes up the majority of that growth with 1111 new residents, making it the 10th fastest growing city in the state. Washington's overall population grew by nearly 2% over the past year, and that's the largest percentage increase since 2007. People are moving and shaking around here. Moving and shaking, moving and grooving. No, oh, I like it. Just like <laughs> the weather, moving and grooving it, into some sunshine. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we could see a little bit of cloud coverage as we get to the afternoon hours, especially in the Yakima Valley. 91 year high today in Yakima. Beautiful conditions throughout our areas. We're going to continue to cool down all the way to the mid to lower 80s by July 4th, which is. Of course, Independence Day and Monday. <laughs> so cooler temperatures on the way, but plenty of sunshine on tap for this holiday weekend. All right. Thanks so much, Jason. That's a look at local news and weather. Have a great day and enjoy the weather this weekend.